One day, Anita arrived in labor, convulsing with hypertension. When I opened her papers, I was shocked. It was my own handwriting. I had seen Anita in the third month of pregnancy, but she never came back. I saw these stories play out daily. Women and children dying in the most horrific of circumstances. If only they had got the right information at the right time about how to take care of themselves and their children. And if only the health workers had been trained to be able to pick up the risk factors in time in the community itself. And given the scale of India's problems, it became very obvious to me that any solution I designed had to be community-based, but also scalable. Abman focuses on the pre-hospital-based care, both for the mother and the child, so that on the one hand, we inform women about the care to be taken during pregnancy and infancy so that they access care in time. And we train the health workers at every level of the health system to be able to give that kind of care early enough using mobile health solutions. Our services on the health information side include Emitra, our flagship program, and the program that we run in collaboration with Government of India called Kilkari. We've reached 14 million women and their children in 20 states of India through these programs. Both Emitra and Kilkari are free voice call services that send timed and targeted preventive care information directly to the phones of the enrolled women. Both solutions have language preference. There's a missed call system. The woman can give a missed call to listen to the message that she's missed. And we also have a call center for any query that the woman may have. And now we're moving on to a fit for purpose approach where based on the technology access and based on the degree of need, we have targeted approaches so that we are able to reach the last mile of the last mile. Our goal in the next five years is not only to reach 70 million women and their children through our voice calling and um, fit for purpose approach solutions, but we also want to reach around 10 million equity encumbered women and children. We have a program called Mobile Academy that we run with the, in collaboration with the Government of India for the ASHA workers, the frontline health volunteers in every village of the country. And right now the program runs in 17 states of India. We've reached around 325,000 ASHAs. Currently, Mobile Academy is voice-based, but because now most ASHAs have access to smartphones, we will be moving on to uh, WhatsApp-based and smartphone-based solutions. And up the ladder are the nurses, the medical officers, and the specialists. Now here, we have a solution called Integrated High-Risk Pregnancy Management Program that's running in the whole of Telangana currently and has now moved to Andhra Pradesh and will be moving to other states shortly. Uh, in this program, uh, firstly, we've created high-risk pregnancy protocols uh, with algorithmic color-coded extremely detailed protocols for every level of the CADA. And now we're doing training of uh, almost 9,500 uh, nurses, 1,500 medical officers and 350 specialists in these uh, protocols. Eventually, we want to have a system where, uh, you know, a Kilkari, Mobile Academy and Integrated Harris Pregnancy Management Program are working in a particular state where the database is talking to each other. Uh, we also have partnership with uh, you know, Google and Harvard, where we create AI-based models for improved program efficiency and improved impact of our, you know, and outcomes. For example, we already built a model with the help of Google and Harvard, where uh, we can predict at the time of enrollment itself, which woman is likely to drop out of the program so that we can get her back into the system. It took me five years to get the first uh, funding for Arman, also because of the fact that Scalable solutions are created by big multilateral agencies. It is pretty rare for homegrown Indian NGOs to build large-scale solutions. One thing that really astounded me is the fact that information is empowerment. And, and the empowerment is intergenerational. Mm -hmm.